It is, it is, yeah. So, um, yeah, so we're gonna talk about the eights and tens, right? Eights and tens are the playmakers in the group. Um, they're gonna do a lot of the work for us when we have the ball, um, but there is definitely a distinct difference, obviously, between an eight and a 10. Um, the eight is, there's all different names for them. They're box, you know, box to box midfielder, the late running midfielder, uh, whatever, whatever you wanna call them. At the end of the day, they're, they're a creative attacking midfielder, but that has also has defensive responsibility and really becomes a very important part of linking the back of the team to the front of the team. Whereas the number 10, depending on the way your team is set up and how your coach does it, um, the 10 maybe doesn't defend that much, um, but the 10 is gonna have a lot of the responsibility of creating play um, and really driving the game forward for us. So I think the biggest ones um, for me, when, when you start to show video as a, as a number 10, the moments you wanna show are moments that highlight your ability, your technical ability, your cheekiness, your craftiness, your ability to get out of pressure, um, things that show the hardest part of, the, of a number 10 or an H job is you've got to play the game in 360 degrees. You've got to have eyes in the back of your head uh, and um, you've got to find moments that do that, that, that will show your ability again to skip out of a tackle, um, to find a pass when you're under extreme pressure um, because make no mistake about it, guys, when, you, when you're in that role, you're in the opposition scouting report. The other team is looking for you. The other team knows they're not going to let you direct the game. So you have to figure out how to do that. So how do we do that? We do that with dynamic movement off the ball. Um, how do you create space for yourself? So find moments where you know, you've made an intelligent run that's so you get in between the lines and your number six can find you. And then you're off into their, the other team's back four. So those types of movements. Um, you're also going to want to show tens and eights are responsible for scoring goals. You know, if you remember Clint Dempsey um, when he was in the U.S. national team, he was a, one of the best eights that's ever played for our country, right? But he was great because he scored goals from the number eight spot. Um, and he was that late running eight that scored from distance and did all sorts of great things. So um, you must show that you score goals. You also show, you have to show, um, like in, in Tim's, Tim's example, in the last one of the number six, um, shooting from distance. But that is something that eights and tens have to do, have to, why? Because they, then that forces the other team now to step and defend us, which then allows us to play the killer pass to put the number nine, the seven or the 11 in behind the other team. Okay, so do we have the ability to stretch the other team in that way, all right? Um, and then last but certainly not least, how do we fit into the way our team defends? Because everybody, believe it or not, even the tens, they do have to defend him. The, ten, the tens do have to do a little bit of work um, off the ball. Okay. But a lot of times that will be directing the players that are around them. Do we want to press now? Do we want to wait and then go? Okay. And really kind of become a coach on the field in that sense. So let's look at this moment as, as it goes. Right. And we're going to find this one's great. So the center midfielder is going to work herself into a great spot. All right. Oh, so as we go through, go ahead and uh, Charles, just go ahead and rewind that one real quick for us. You can go right back to the beginning. So she's going to find space and make space for herself, right? So she's kind of gone away and gotten lost. Now she'll come back. She realizes the defender's on her back. She lets the ball beat her. And off she goes. And now she's into the opposition's back four. And there goes the killer pass. Okay, her killer pass could have been a little bit better. But in the moment, this part right here, this is just class right here. She feels it. Whoop, out she goes. She gets on a half turn, accelerates, shows a good change of pace. And then we're in behind and we're causing major problems for the other team. So that's a great picture of how a number 10 could act, accentuate what she does and what she brings to the game and brings to her team, some savvy, and then the killer instinct to go in behind the other team. That was great. Love that. Awesome.